Understanding the phrase, wine enthusiast, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore a fascinating and flavorful topic in the English language, the phrase, wine enthusiast. Whether you're a beginner or advanced in English, this video will help you understand not just the meaning of this phrase, but also the culture and context behind it. So, grab a glass of your favorite beverage, and let's dive in. First, let's break down the phrase, wine enthusiast. The word, wine, refers to an alcoholic beverage made from fermented grapes or other fruits. The term, enthusiast, describes someone who is very interested in a particular activity or subject. So, a wine enthusiast is someone who is particularly passionate about wine. This could mean they enjoy tasting different types of wine, learning about winemaking processes, or even collecting wines. Wine isn't just a drink. It's a part of many cultures and has a rich history. For a wine enthusiast, this beverage is more than just about taste. It's about the experience and knowledge. They may be interested in the different grape varieties, the regions where wines are produced, and the unique flavors and aromas of each wine. Wine enthusiasts often enjoy visiting vineyards, attending wine tastings, and participating in wine clubs or forums. The phrase, wine enthusiast, can be seen in various contexts in English. It's used in magazines, social media, and conversations. Understanding this phrase can help you connect with others who have similar interests. It's also a great example of how English speakers often combine a hobby or interest with the word enthusiast to express their passion for it. Just like wine enthusiast, you can express your interests in English by adding enthusiast to your hobby. Are you a music enthusiast, a book enthusiast, or maybe a travel enthusiast? This structure is a simple yet effective way to share your passions in English. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, wine enthusiast, and how you can use similar structures to express your interests in English. Remember, learning a language is not just about words and grammar, it's also about understanding the culture and the people. Cheers to your English learning journey, and see you in the next video.